Hello, what's going on, guys? My name is Lex. Welcome back to episode 50 Factor Series. If I'm talking about today, Factor Series. But yeah, uh, so episode we go down to the circuits. First thing, nailed copper. I'm that copper ingots and oxygen. Put copper ingots. Yeah, it starts working, and it needs only four seconds to produce. So I'm just going to make. Next thing we need is polyvinyl chloride sheets. Now, in the past few episodes or past two episodes, we have been making this machine here, which uh, creates uh, polyvinyl chloride and polyethylene. And I have been just finding it more in between the episodes. But uh, to make sheets, first, create. So if I go here and type old, we need this one, plate. Out of steel, so I need iron. Charcoal. I already have two dust. Then I need melt this. I'll macerate. Will actually I can just gonna this. So first put this in. And we need to put this there. Okay, so while that's working, uh, I also thought about going to this side, but we'll we'll see. Because if we do store it, fluid storage, we can directly import it from the machine below and into our ME system, and then we can move on to auto crafting with uh, ME interfaces patterns. So that will be kind of cool, and mainly the reason why I automated plastic sheet polyvinyl chloride, but. We still need it for other things, for example, plastic subshades and all machine holes. I type every every time machine holes above. Oh yeah, all machine holes above high voltage, in high voltage included, need polyethylene sheets as their base, kind of base. So yeah, this should be done by now. So yeah. Just need to compress them and make now molds will be made in the fluid solidifier so let's go and grab portable tank so I have added this so I can just take them out and it creates holds 50 buckets. That's kinda nice. If I go here go file. What I was going to need. So if I just create mashing it with tape, put it in here. Get polyvinyl chloride shapes. And the another name for polyvinyl chloride which is more commonly used is PVC. And yeah, this is the PVC. So with polyvinyl chloride and Polyethylene now wired and can now start producing SMD components. Sample for transistor plate, find find a nail for wire, two bits of polyethylene, and you get 32 of them. So it's really effective. Now oh, if I put it in. And now we get another achievement. Now all of these may be made in a MV assembling machine or higher will require liquid polyethylene. That's why I made all the way to here. Now this thing needed so SMD components are needed. I mean they're not needed but I suggested for the first, the third and final tier one circuits. Because they are much cheaper to create and 
So let's just start. Let's just start making. Yes, indeed. Italian plate, fine, and six fire. Put this. Get some gallium. Make six. Pull copper. Up this. Actually, already a stack. Second five polyethylene. Stack is should feel right up because there were some more. In There are some buffer. Go up back up. I should have some gallium. Yeah. Two of them. Gallium. Let's make two. So we just stack gonna make a stack of it so if I put four polyethylene tractor is kind of fast but it will go there we go now we should be able to stack of that so 12 of these There we go, our first SMD component. Gonna keep time being. Example these tanks. So that that's, that was that was now we have to make a result. And we need carbon dust created by centrifuge coal dust. Charcoal dust. Charcoal dust will be much more effective because we can get loads of charcoal fast. How much do you create per 24? So let's just create three of them. Master it. I'm using it to create some lapis lazuli because I didn't have some and I have to buy ores and then do that to double them. And we need electrum. Electrum. Two. I believe we need. One. Let's create four then. Then if they are that many, let's just create four. Eight. Oh, copper dark, charcoal dust, dust. Put this there. We put this in a centrifuge. Carbon dust. Would, can you get this to coal? Oh, carbon. It's, so if you could do that, you could. Our coal. Great, but. So we pair that, and now let's see. One polyethylene. One. Four. And as you saw earlier, it is required to create a to create them in a in voltage assembling machine. That's why I'm not doing them there. I have an assembling machine here, but can do. Oh yeah, it didn't create them because it would kill. So a stack. Now we have a stack and a half of these. And now the capacitors. The capacitors can only be made in stacks of. So, and a little plate here. So let's just run this for cluster mill. Four of these for cluster mill, and one of these. So as you saw, it requires four of these, one aluminium foil, and quarter of a sheet of polyethylene liquefied. And if I put this here now, we should get a stack of capacitors as well. Just go get three. Nice. And now the last thing we need to finally go and start with last tier one circuits is plastic substrate. 
and that requires sulfuric acid, copper, gasoline sheet, or poly polyvinyl chloride. Grab some copper. Copper. Copper, let's grab. Compressor. Now we have quite a few of these. But I think the fastest go. Passitor. Passitor. Actually, all of them are. I don't know why I always think passengers. Maybe because I take them in. So now I just run this through. We have four that will require half a bucket. Acid, but we already have two buckets here. Well, that's that. Grab this. Because now we got this plastic circuit board, and which is basically just upgraded with no substrate, which we coating first coating. Now we got this, and we any of these. Now finally, first tier, the third tier one circuits, and for that, yeah, we don't have a. So how we get a CPU? Putting a glass lens, precision laser engraver, and then getting wafers or silicon paper. What were we? Oh yeah. This does take some time. Uh, actually, in the meanwhile, we can begin. Uh, while this is, we can begin the fluid terminal. So we need a logic processor. And start doing. Uh, and find, and we need a gold. Plate. First, we need silicon press. Silicon. This is done. So the next thing we need to do is cut this up pieces. So we can continue on our processor, our logic processor, and now let's put this and because logic. And now, yeah, we can't continue because I don't have any more circuits, so wait. Go. So now, back and in alloy. That's what the last thing we need. Alloy. Grab one. And this is directly to uh, fine wire, that's why it's taking time. Do that. Uh, there. So now we need of D. I believe we need another thing. Oh yeah, this thing. And now we just need to fill it with gallium. Not that. Soldering gallium. And we can put two in there because we can only create four for now. Basic fluid extractor. I don't think this can be created in Berlin medium. No, it's 60 U per tick. And low voltage provide up to two. Don't yeah, if it goes in types, for example, I think it's their voltage. Voltage is basically how much energy per tick it There we go. Find circuit. And with time time this will get easier and easier to produce if i press r recipe as you can see these are just these two with 
ring alloy. And then we have this. Now, instead of using everything else, you can use system and chip, but now a little bit. Yet. But it will pay off if we get get that time. So now that we have these, we can just continue going down the road because we are going to need and stockpile on the other one. So for this, we need, we need basically the same thing. Except we need again. Need four of them this time instead of two of them. Two of them. So. Soldering island. Put this in. I like to come. Pipes. Oh, it's already in. Oh, yeah, I didn't. And now we should get. Yep, refined processor. So from now on. The way I'm going because as you can see it's way faster and for these we just need four of these RAM RAM and some other stuff for example stainless steel I don't have I do so grab another one so yeah uh now I'm just going to stockpile on D and and then hopefully we can go into printed silicon if the episode not the printed. I, I I cannot speak today. We hopefully can go to three terminals and some Emmy stuff if I have time. I don't really know how much time has passed because I didn't look at the video yet and I don't have a timer which I should get. So yeah. Okay, so I have uh, some refined processors and I have made four, which is the exact amount we need the processor array and I have also gathered some RAM from our storage system and so we can build this now last thing four of these yep I also need pearls and up and here so now that we have these put side side Great. So we only only we need to put. Now we need some tin. And this screen background. That's. I don't really. Worry about. But. No. What are we missing? Oh yes, two stainless steel off camera. So now this should get us our processor array. Actually, this is my first tier. I have never made. And there we go, second tier three circuits complete. So now we have gotten, and now we have completed everything in the, this sector of the quest book. And now I want to move on to this side. If we look here, the first thing I want to make is some fluid storages and fluid terminals and then go towards auto crafting. So for auto crafting, you don't need much. This is a crafting unit. Then you need a molecular assembler. This is basically a crafting table. I'm going to prepare most of the materials for this episode. Just casing. And the most difficult thing can ma you need to make, not this, I'm just you get two of them so it's kind of easy the most difficult emmy interfaces because they require a robot arm but i have prepared uh for make four of them so i'm gonna make four emmy interfaces and the other art part pattern 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 is circuit 
So you get eight of them, but it's still a lot to take the three circuit. So um, I'm probably going to prepare some more circuits, uh, refined processor arrays for the patterns. But uh, yeah, that should be all for this episode. So hope that you enjoyed. If you did, hit like button, and I will see you in the next episode.